What is up YouTube? Guess what? Another video has hit the shelf and 8-Bit Boat Vlogs is back again. So in this video I'm just going to go over a few incidents, some close calls and you know some near misses I've had. So I hope you enjoy it. Watch those drains. Seriously guys, they just come out of nowhere so always be on the alert for them. That scared me but you won't certainly see it or hear it in the video. In this next clip we've got an accident further up the road and it's always good to be thinking ahead as, as they tell you, you know, in the CBTs and, you know, your favourite tests. You, you've always got to plan ahead, think ahead and obviously look ahead. If you can't, pla if you can't do that then you're going to be more prone for accidents and, you know, incidents further down the line. So as you can see, I'm not filtering past, you know, 20 miles per hour. I'm going, you know, cautiously, you know, I'm keeping an eye on traffic, you know, the conditions aren't very good at all, so, as you can see now, I, I've noticed someone's trying to indicate right, but I've noticed just a little further, there's someone with the hazards on, so I try and avoid that car that's trying to stop and take overtake, uh, you know, get back into the other lane, so we've avoided that problem as an EMS. So in this clip, really nice condition, one of the best rides I've had, it was the day I was going to the cinema to watch a film, I can't actually remember what I was going to watch, but really good film from that day roughly, I, if, I work, if I go back and work it out I could probably guess what it is. As you can slightly hear in the background, there is a police vehicle approaching, so I'm not sure wh whether it was going to come through the middle of the traffic, which it didn't, as other cars seem to come over. As I did check my blind spot, there was a car in the way, so I could let the uh, vehicle pass uh, safely. But obviously, I would merge into that lane safely as well and back out. So, in this next clip, we have a bit of an idiot that needs to look on a roundabout. By law, you have to give way to your right. Yeah, the camera angle might give it away as it might be slightly far away. However, I still think that they should have looked and gave way. Just as the van did give way to me, this vehicle did not. I you know, consider this as a close call. Even though, well, as most of you vloggers know, the lens doesn't actually give a true indication of how close this actually is. So, this next clip, firstly I'm going to apologise for the quality of the video, I can't help rain droplets, it tends to happen a lot when it rains outside. <laughs> However, um, I'm filtering towards these lights and basically you get a friggin' numpty that's just full stop blown, like blank stopped, in the middle of the fucking roundabout. Just, yeah. So it turns out that person actually cut across all those lanes, which is a high tendency, you know, that they do it all the time on that. In this next clip, you're going to see, you know, conditions worse, worse, you know, just as they were earlier. Um, basically, there's a van parked up straight ahead, one car has passed, however, this guy should have had enough time to stop as I was approaching, you know, it's my right of way, they shouldn't have merged onto the side of, you know, my lane, because it was causing a hazard, they should not have overtaken. Right, okay guys, so, just so you know, I've jumped back to the, um, clip well video where the police actually you know belted through my lane so I obviously had to go back into the opposite lane just to be safe um, so I just wanted to speak to you a bit more about well obviously you know the situation with the channel and, and you know what, what I'm gonna do with that obviously I want to progress further than what I did last time with the Brodiers. Um, obviously we managed to get near enough 200 subscribers 
on the Brody ears. Um, we was going to do a giveaway, etc., etc. I had to start. Well, I had to stop doing that for personal reasons, and I won't get into that. However, obviously, we're here now as 8-bit motor vlogs. So, just to start off, pretty much in order of of how I received this. So basically I've I've been looking for motor vloggers as well, you know, to sort of liaise with and uh, maybe create com compilations further down the line. Who knows? We'll, we'll see how that goes. I would like to put a shout out to Strudders, I think I've pronounced that correctly, <laughs> for actually getting me into Instagram you know, and, and sort of communicate with people there. So, yeah, thank you, dude, for that. And hopefully we'll go on a ride soon, fingers crossed. Um, weather and conditions permitted. Obviously, this COVID-19 situation isn't really getting any better, which is a pain in the backside. But fingers crossed that won't stop anyone from going out. And I know from, you know, communications that that isn't going to be the case anyway so yeah dude thank you for the support and getting me into instagram and also thank you for basically getting me a, some followers as well which is great so you know within your circle whoever watches this thank you for jumping on board on my instagram i hope you do the same for my youtube channel i'd really appreciate the support so yeah thank you again Stradis. so my next one will be going to Lucky Moto UK. So they just a quick shout out really that they sponsored me in a picture. So you know just a a, a daily Insta photo in example. Um, basically I just sent a picture of my GSXR125. Um, I literally just whipped a picture together because I was in work at the time. I was like, mm, okay, I'll get this going. <laughs> and obviously he would support me in that respect to say visit my channel, which he did. Um, but I would like to do the same. So you would see the, this guy on the screen right now. Guy or gal or team, either or. Doesn't really matter. He provided support. She provided support. Yeah. Please go support them because they're on their way to what I believe is, I think it's 500 subs. Let me just check. Literally, 500, 500 followers. <laughs> so, yeah. Go hit them up because they're on 430 followers right now. Give them some love from me. That would be great. So, yeah. So, that's our second guy. So, now, the next guy has provided me with a bit more support as well you know giving me followers which is great because it's obviously i need this especially on instagram which is the yorkshire hero on the screen now so basically he's given me two shout outs on his instagram page so Obviously, I want to return the favour in my videos because you never know, depending on the situation, it might gain him a bit more followers. So, yeah, dude, thank you for the support and I hope you keep supporting me because I will do exactly the same for you. You know, I'm sort of a win-win sort of channel, to be honest. I want to support other people, not just people support me. So if you keep creating that content, do keep blasting that content out because it is interesting and obviously you know in the future hopefully we can um, work together to try and improve our videos and the same applies to you Strutters as well man seriously um, if you need any tips or any honest feedback certainly let me know and to be honest I would want the same back anyway so if there's any improvements please let me know so I think that's it for the end of the video. I mean, it's dragged on a little bit, so I thank you very much for keeping your, you know, your focus here. I, or at least hope you have. Now I'm just fucking rambling. <laughs> so I just, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Um, again, thank you to my 41 followers on Instagram. 
But obviously that wouldn't have happened without those three guys supporting me as I started out with zero. <laughs> so, yeah, please keep in touch. And we can go from there, you know. You know, like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.